Los Angeles City becomes the largest city in the United States to ban the sale of fur goods. Now this is interesting because Los Angeles is one of the fashion capitals in the United States and certainly has been becoming so in the last five years. We all know the creative class has been opening up offices here. Brands have been opening up full price, luxury, brand flagship locations in Los Angeles and pop-ups are seeing a huge rise. So what does this mean now that we have a ban on the sale of fur goods? Well guys, it comes, I think, as no surprise. We've been seeing a lot of the fashion industry start to take a stand for animal rights and the resale of fur goods. Burberry, Gucci, Michael Kors, these brands have all been taking a step forward to ban the resale of fur. Now, Los Angeles City Council is not going to be banning the sale of vintage furs or the resale market, but this will apply to full price products and this will apply to goods that are being sold for the first time. There is no date as to when this is going to roll out, but I do believe that this is a really big initiative. We have to see what is going to happen with other cities across this country. Now, certainly even across the world, this makes Los Angeles one of the largest cities to put a ban on the sale of fur goods. I think this is an amazing step in the right direction as we start to think about a more humane and globalized society, certainly as we start to think about the rise of sustainability, creating eco-friendly, zero-waste products, really looking at a great circular economy, and certainly, guys, not just thinking about things in terms of human-centered design, but also thinking about things in terms of our furry little friends and how they might play a more humane role in our business and in the fashion industry. All right, guys, I hope this inspires you, especially as we look to see how luxury is changing. All the new luxury Vanguard brands are not following the same rules. Brands like Myatt and other high profile luxury brands are not taking a stand for luxury in the sense of killing animals in that same way that we're used to seeing back in the 50s and 60s of what it meant to be luxury. So guys, luxury is changing, the industry is changing. Very exciting time to be a Los Angeles resident and a very exciting time to see what else is going to happen in the world of the fur industry. All right guys, talk to you soon, bye.